What's up? My name is Dylan and I've been living in Lima, Peru for the past month. If you're interested in coming to Lima in this video, I'll go over some of my favorite things that I did while I was here. Plaza de Armas. The Plaza de Armas is located in the center of Lima. It's surrounded by the government palace, the metropolitan cathedral, and a lot of other really important buildings. Peruvian churros. Nothing is more important than these churros though. I don't know what's inside it. Delicious. Leche, leche. So this sandwich is ham, sweet potato, and hot sauce. It's basically the best Thanksgiving sandwich that you've ever made yourself. Like the leftover sandwich, like after Thanksgiving. That's what that is. It's a spray habanero sauce. Kitty cat on bike. Another gorgeous day in Lima. First time busting out the sunglasses in this city. I'm gonna go for a run. So it's seriously another freaking gorgeous day. And I was so excited to come out and walk around. I even told myself, I'm gonna go for a run, which is so out of character for me. I started running down the street and I realized I didn't grab the keys to my Airbnb and the door locks itself. So that's, uh, that's today. I kind of forget there's a beach here until the sun comes out. I don't know where my fat ass thinks I'm running to, but I'm going. I'm making up for all those churros and pisco sours. I'll probably have a beer later tonight anyways. currently locked out of my Airbnb and I can't get back in so I messaged my Airbnb host and she's bringing the spare key to let me in I won't be able to bring me the key until like 8 o'clock 8 30 and I'm hungry I got two hours to kill though so I just been walking around nice little sunset Josie what do you got for <laughs> does, that, does that mean free drinks? Yeah. Pub crawl, pub crawl. Yeah. So me and Trey are crashing a pub crawl in Peru. And we're getting colored wristbands. Red wristbands are if you're prude and you don't want uh, shots. Yellow wristbands are if you're like, uh, take it easy on me. And green wristbands mean you're ready to party. Um, it looks like we're all ready to party. Oh, dude. Pub crawls are great when you're traveling solo because it's a great way to make friends and see places that you probably wouldn't have gone by yourself. Now, I've been in Lima for a few weeks now and I'd like to just make a note of what I wear now compared to what I was wearing the first day when I walked and explored around. I probably look like a crazy gringo for wearing a t-shirt. Now I'm not leaving the house without at least one extra layer. Sunset karaoke in the park is a great vibe. Probably my favorite thing to do in Lima, eat Peruvian food. This is a cow heart. Chewy. 
a good flavor. What's up, Danny and Andrea? Well, welcome to Peru. Enjoy. <laughs> what are what is one thing that you are each looking forward to? Eating um, more ceviche. And don't say Machu Picchu. <laughs> no, no. Eating more ceviche like the one I ate today. The food. Yep. Uh, just having an amazing experience. Spending time with yeah. you. No. Yes. <laughs> All right. Cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> I tell you what, these pisco sours pack a punch. They're very tart though. Piscos, baby. Salud. <laughs> we're drunk, we're drunk, we're drunk. We're on our way to the water park. We're running late, but we're gonna see. <laughs> we're, we're gonna make it. We're gonna see some fountains. Every single time we're together, we're running late. Yep, yep. <laughs> it's gonna be like that. This magical water park tour is located in downtown Lima. Churros y Fontañas! Several times a week, this water park puts on fountain light shows, which is pretty cool to see. It's a water park! It is my last week in Lima. This Friday I head up to Cusco uh, for the month. I'm super excited to get to Cusco, but tonight me, Andrea, and Danny are going to one of the top restaurants in the world. It's rated like number 20 in the top 50 best restaurants in the world called Maida. Uh, so I'm super excited. I mean, the inner foodie is coming out of me. I don't know how much this is gonna cost me or what this is gonna be like, but I'm excited to have a culinary experience. I want my taste buds to go on an adventure. Mm. Oh, baby. Oh, sí. What's yours? No, sorry. It tastes like a really upscale, disassembled cheeseburger. <laughs> like, there's like, this is like, this is cheesy. There's like a barbecue sauce. And then there's like meat. I don't know. So like it's like this? Should I get? A yeah, get a little bit of that chip in there too. I don't like. I would just yeah, yeah. Get be okay. aggressive with it. Fancy cheeseburger, right? It's really good. Not so good. Mm. <laughs> yes, it's picked up real time. <laughs> One course down. What are we thinking so far? It she had the scallops, the ceviche, and my deconstruct deconstructed <laughs> cheeseburger. He I give five out of five llamas. Uh, we've got the duck. Smoked duck breast. Duck Frog wah. And the duckie's egg in the middle. With these cartoon looking carrots. We made it. very cartoony. And we got a shrimpy and a what? What is that? That's like langostino and that's like rice. Taco taco? I have no, And you got what, fish? Uh, Amazonian fish. Amazonian fish. Yeah, Amazonian veggie. Oh. Look at us. I got the best one again. Duck. It's a good one. Yeah, it's good. I'm on my way to the beach because it's a beautiful sunny day and I'm gonna take a surfing lesson. So, wish me luck there. I swear, as soon as you start like having doubts about Lima, like the freaking sun comes out and makes you just realize, oh my God, this place is freaking awesome. I'll take off up there. Woohoo! Get you getting your wetsuit on. Have you ever Alright, you ready to carve some carve some waves? I'll try my best. 
All right, we just got off the surfing lesson. I'm not very good. She was better than me, <laughs> but it's. No. But we got up a few times, and we saw a nice sunset. We got our exercise for the day as well. Yeah, dude, That's it's nice. exhausting. My arms, <laughs> though mighty, it took a lot of a lot of paddles, and when you fall a lot, you have to paddle a lot too. Today's the day. It's officially been a full month in Lima, Peru. Can't believe how fast this month has gone by. I'm all packed up, finishing up my day of work, uh, and then I head to the airport so I can go to Cusco. Went to the pharmacy, picked up my coca elevation medication so I don't get elevation medication, nice rhyme, so that I don't get elevation sickness. Coca is like the leaves that cocaine is made from, so I'm calling them my little cocaine pills. I don't do drugs. Because Cusco, again, is 11,000 feet above sea level, and I feel like I am going to die. So, super excited to see the rest of Peru. Um, again, grateful for Lima. Can't wait to get to my next destination. And of course, if you thought this video was interesting, you just like hearing the sound of my voice, or you love Peru, feel free to give this video a like or subscribe so you can stay tuned as I travel through South America.